I'm going to show you how to calculate the or how to find the expected mean square. Um, this is needed for particularly for nested design, repeated measure, split plot design, split split plot design. For all those higher order designs, sometimes the software that you use for a statistical analysis cannot give you the correct um, uh, FS statistics. So to do that, we need to know the error associated with that particular uh, effect. So to do that, first thing we need to do is to find the expected mean square. Now in the first video, I'm going to produce four or five of these videos for expected mean square. So the first one is for the fixed effect. So we consider all the factors are fixed, fixed effect. They're all fixed. So typically for a fixed effect, um, we really don't need expected mean square. We'll see at the end of this video why. However, to start with, to explain the rules, this makes a whole lot of sense than um, going into the more complex design. So the way you do ground rule zero, you write everything like you see in this uh, screen here. So the effect that goes in column one uh, right here, and then the variance associated with that, you write on the next column, and then the subscript right on the third column and also here on this column you write all the factors ABC also the replication and also you write the factor type now in this case we have all fixed factors so write fix 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 just use F word instead of uh, fixed um, writing typing all this now then in the second row you write the level or replication so imagine that I have the a small a level of a factor a small b level of B factor, capital V factor, and then a small C level of capital C factor, and then uh, N as the replication. We also need to write down this uh, subscript uh, in the row wise I, J, K, L, like that. Now, once we do that, and then we need another column for expected mean square, this one, and then the divisor column for F statistics. Now, go go to the second rule so ground rule zero right everything like this now this part for a fixed effect there is not really a, a variance so is basically the square of alpha or quadratic term of the effect alpha i so there is not really a variance however this is how it is written if you want to write the variance for fixed effect this is how it's written check my earlier videos on how these things come now let's go to the first rule number one rule number one is if this subscript column subscripts these are the column subscript column a column b column c column n column if this column subscript if if the row subscript if the row subscript does not contain the column then uh, just type that level or replication for example this row subscript i does not contain j so we type b here and this row subscript does not contain k so we type that level c here and this row subscript i does not contain l so we type that n here similarly for example this one i j so this column subscript i this row subscripts i j contains that i so we don't do anything here then this ij row subscript contain j so we don't do anything here now this row subscript ij does not contain k does not contain n so we type c and n here so this is how all these um, letters comes here we'll go to the next rule next rule is for the dead subscript so if the row subscript uh, contains um, the uh, column subscript in this case ijkl all the replications are nested in the treatment combination so this ijk is dead is called either nested or dead so we can um, call like l is nested within ijk or something like that so if you have dead subscript or nested subscript and then if the column subscript if that the row contains the column then you input one so all of this contains column subscript i contains here in the row z is in the row ijk k is in the row ijk 
and L L is not dead however it's a random factor so if it's a random factor or matches then you also use one we'll see that rule in the next um, slide so this is the next rule number three if the column subscript if the row subscript contains if the row subscript contains the column subscript and if it's a fixed factor type 0 for example this one this is the row subscript j which contains this column j so you type 0 so if it's a fixed factor type 0 for that all of them 0 0 0 0 so i j k contain i so 0 here i j k contain j so 0 here i j k contain k so 0 here now this l i j k l contains l is on here because of a random factor if it's a random factor look at this rule insert one if the row contains subscripts uh, column subscript when at least one subscript is random so in this case it's random and effect is considered random if it contains one or more random so if it's just one random factor it's a random factor random effect so we complete this uh, letters now we'll show you how to get the expected mean square now if we want to find for example the expected mean square for bc we have to mask that column or delete that column so to find bc we have to delete this b column or mask b column and then c because we're trying to find bc together so we, we're not going to consider that and then we're going to multiply the variance column with the rest of it so this one and this one so you multiply alpha squared divided by a minus 1 times 0 times n so that's result 0 and then this one the times this one times this one that's a n times that this one times this one times this one so that's a n times that this one is 0 so it's going to be 0 0 this one 0 now beta gamma that's the variance for bc times n times a so that's this piece and then sigma square the experimental error times one times one so that's produced the sigma square now the fifth rule is to add all of these um let me go back to kind of explain the fifth rule is to find expected mean square for bc let me write down there so expected mean square for bc ems for bc is you add all of the um, all of these those contain both a and uh, sorry b and c so this one does not contain both b and c only contain b this one only contains c so this does not come so this one contains bc both this one also contains bc both so the expected mean square for bc would be sigma square plus a n summation of beta gamma whole square z k by b minus 1 c minus 1 as in the next slide next go there so this is the piece i have written in the previous slide go to this so this way you can find the entire expected mean square like this and to find out uh, the correct f statistics we have to find out so let's say we are testing for effect of a so this is the effect of a and then that is associated with only the experimental error sigma squared so the f statistics divisor would be this so the f statistics for a would be msa divided by mse like that this is a fixed factor so it's very simple so all of these are just associated with the experimental error so all divisor for f statistics is the experimental error in next few videos i'm going to talk about random model mixed model and also nested random including all those combinations